What's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back with another Destiny video. So yesterday was the weekly reset for Nightfall and the grind for Icebreaker continues with the weekly Sunrise Bounties. You're going to get to see the, carry, the loot that I get on all three of my characters for this week. And a few extra strange things happened and a few bonuses happened. This was a pretty good week in terms of Nightfall. Right there, I was hoping to get another version of the Devil's Dawn. I've got the Void one. I love that sniper rifle, but I only got the Titan Mark. I do think it looks pretty good. I like the whole SIVA look that they have on in the Rise of Iron raid gear and some of the other stuff that you can get throughout the strikes. So, uh, you know, it, that was okay. My rewards were pretty bad right there uh, for everybody. Nobody was happy. We were all kind of laughing at what we got, so I decided to turn the background volume down. And then here we go is the first sunrise bounty of this week. And finally, Icebreaker drops. And honestly, you could probably hear me a little bit in the background there. I was laughing hysterically. I was so happy because I honestly just expected the usual letdown to happen of not getting it. So... Continuing on, because my friends still needed to get it, here on my next character, not only am I using the Icebreaker, but I get Songs from the Void, which for those of you that may not know this, this was when the Dawning was here. If you got to rank 7 in the book, you would get Sir's Tag, open up his box, and then you would start the quest line to get the Novo Mortis and the Abaddon by talking to Ikor Ray back at the tower. I got it. Out of nowhere, as you saw, I walked over the that little piece there, which just looked like it would have been, uh, you, you know, ether seeds or something, and it wasn't. It was actually to get the quest line, so it can drop from Nightfall randomly. It's just another way to show you guys that you know what you can still get this quest line, and you'll see me actually go back to the tower, speak to Ikor Ray. She sends you to Banshee. And the quest line is exactly the same as it was during the dawning. So that's pretty cool as well. And I already have these guns. I already have them and I got the quest line a second time. Anyways, you saw there I got the final killing blow with the icebreaker on the boss this week. The version of the this the wretched eye strike. I actually love icebreaker. I didn't get a chance to use it in year one as I wasn't a first day destiny player from day one um but you know i messed around with the year one version in patrol and and things like that in the crucible a little bit thought it'd be kind of fun and now that i actually have the year three version and can actually use it i gotta say i love it i think it's fantastic it's an absolute blast you never have to look for ammo the regenerating of ammo it's just it's super cool uh, but there you go anyways you can see i've got that quest line i thought i would show that to you here are my roles and rewards for the weapon that I got on my warlock. This is me back at the tower. I actually ranked up with the vanguard so I got a shadow price. And there you go. Songs from the void. And after this I'm going to go and talk to Banshee. And honestly I'll probably do the quest line again and I mentioned this in another video when I was on Xbox. The fact that I actually got this quest line twice again on there. And I was saying to players you know what it's so easy to do. So whether you decide to do it, you know, and make a point of getting your void ability kills and then the strike done and then the solar ability kills and the strike done, you could get these guns twice and break them down for exotic shards if need be, if you're, you know, obviously you don't need two of each. And especially for new players who don't have a lot of exotic shards or a lot of strange coins to buy them from Zero, it's a way to get a few or even level up the gun fully, break it down and get yourself two per weapon. Just a thought, just an idea for new players who may want shards for infusion. Anyways, moving on to my next character. There we go. I, again, I got the killing blow. I love that damages uh the damage to the head that the icebreaker does the sounds it makes and it was just great blowing that uh the wretched ice head off that was awesome and on top of that another exotic engram so from this week's nightfall finally got the icebreaker two exotic engrams and the quest line for nova mortis and abaddon so overall this has been the best nightfall i have had in a very very long time so bungie and 
the bungee iron jesus gods thank you this week for finally granting my wish muffin and alpha i wish you guys best of luck next week obviously i will run nightfall with you and hopefully you'll get that muffin got stuck getting those three of coins pretty much every run and there i finally got them this was my final reward so anyways guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and drop it a like and if you're new then consider subscribing for more destiny content on the way we're almost at 600 subscribers thank you guys so much you're amazing hopefully we can get there by february 1st that's my goal and you can also follow me on twitter at afflicted gamer as always thank you for your time have a good day and i will see you guys soon in the next video and don't forget the streams every sunday and tuesday